In today's video, I will teach you how to split GIFs into frames in GIMP. Let's get started. Once you open GIMP, go to Files, select Open, or simply press the shortcut key Ctrl O. Now, choose the GIF that you would like to edit in GIMP, then open it in the editor. GIMP will process your animated GIF and automatically place each frame on a different layer regardless of whatever method you choose. So once you've opened the GIF file in the editor, you will see the frames separately on the Layers panel. If your Layers panel is not visible, simply go to the menu bar, Windows, Dockable Dialogs, then select Layers or simply use the shortcut key Ctrl L. The Layers panel would appear on its default location, which is at the lower right side of the editor, along with the Channels and Paths panel. Now, the most common frame rate of GIFs is 24 FPS, so it might be overwhelming to deal with 24 layers at once. If you look at the layers, there's an eye icon right next to the layers thumbnail, which you can toggle off and on if you wish to hide or make the layer visible. But to hide or reveal them in bulk, you can simply hold the shift key and click on the eye icon of the layer that you would like to be visible. This will hide every other layer apart from the layer that you have selected. To make the layers visible again, simply hold the shift key once again and click the eye icon right next to the layer that is visible. Now, to edit the GIF, you can add images, text, or graphics on it to make it more unique. You have to do it in every frame because each layer will be counted as a different frame once you've exported the GIF. The best thing to do is to start with the bottommost layer first, which is the background layer, and place the graphics that you want on top of it. Now you can transform and customize it however you want. Once you're done customizing the graphics, you can now right-click the graphics layer and duplicate it. Now, select the original graphics, and at the bottom of the Layers panel, click the Merge Down option to merge the graphics layer and the first frame together. Now, drag the duplicated graphics layer above the second frame, transform it, duplicate it, then merge it with the second layer. Now, simply repeat the same process to the rest of the frames. And once you're satisfied with your design, you can now export it. But first, make sure that all the layers are visible. Any hidden layers will not be correctly displayed in the final generated GIF. So now go to Files and select Export As or simply use the shortcut key shift Control e Once the Export panel is open, you will notice that the file extension is already set to GIF. Now, click Export, add a GIF comment if you want, but make sure to enable the animation and loop forever option. The other settings will depend on your preferences. And once you're done, simply click export and you're done. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos. 